So if you want to calculate the average and standard deviation using your SHARP 516 calculator, the first thing you have to do is to get in statistics mode. So we're going to hit mode, then 1 for stat, and 0 for single variable statistics. So here I am hitting mode on my calculator. We can see 1 is for stat, so I'll hit 1, and 0 is for single variable statistics, so I'll press 0. And we can see that we're in stat mode. The next thing we need to do is enter our data. And we're going to use the change button, which is this little button right here, and notice how it has the data right above it. So our three data points are 95, 80, and 75, so we'll enter each of those. 95 data, 80 data, and 75 data. And then if I want to get my mean and standard deviation from this, I'm going to need my recall button and the 4 key and the 5 key. And if I hit recall and 4, notice how I get the average, the little x bar. And notice how above the 4 key is the little x bar. And if I want the standard deviation, I'm going to use the recall 5. So recall 5 key. And notice how I have the little sx here above the 5 key. And my answer is 10.408. I can then clear the screen, and if I want, I can cursor up or down to see my data points. So there's my 95, my 80, and my 75. And let's say, for example, that we made a mistake in entering the 75. I want to make it a 76. So I can just go to it and hit the 76. Don't touch this one here. The F stands for frequency, and if I had maybe three 76s, then I could enter it. I'm going to go back to this though so that I have 75 in equals. And then if I do want to get out of this, I just clear it. My data is still there. If I want to clear all my data, I can hit second function and the mode button, which is clear all. And now when I try to scroll through, I don't have anything. So try it again on your own and see how it goes. And hopefully everything will work out fine.